Hey, good morning, everyone. I have a word to share with you to encourage your heart this morning. And in my quiet time, I was just praying, and I just felt these three words kept coming to my mind. And it was love, grace, and peace. And I, I just feel this word is going to speak to many of you. And because um, you know, the truth is, guys, um, you know, during our journey on this in this life, we have daily crises and challenges, challenges that relentlessly will empty the shells of our lives, rendering us helpless and woefully inadequate until we locate the cupboard that is marked love, grace, and peace. And that cupboard, as we all know, is Jesus Christ. You know, he is the supply and the supplier. He's the provision and the provider. His treasure stores marked with our individual names always exceed our wildest expectation, and our greatest needs. You know, I love how the Lord promises to feed us, guide us, shield us, lead us, refresh us, restore us, free us, protect us, comfort us, and love us all the days of our lives. You know, I love um, how Colossians 2.3 states that in Him, all the treasure and wisdom and knowledge are hidden for us. The question is then, why then are we curled up in the corner, lonely and sad? Why do we feel forsaken when we can run to Jesus and help ourselves to this lo his love, his grace, and his peace that meets our need and lifts us to joyful living again? You know, Jesus never disappoints. His overflowing resources are promised to each and every one of us as followers. But why do, we why do we fail to trust Jesus and his provision? It's because rarely it looks like what we ask for in prayer. It is that he shines his spotlight on our selfish emotional wants and ministers to our true spiritual needs instead. I would say absolutely he does. Is it if we receive his provision... We must quit groaning and grow up in maturity. I would say probably. We ask Jesus to lift our burden. Instead, he gives us grace. We ask for release from the problem. And he promises to carry it for us if we stay yoked to him. You know, we complain that no one loves us. And he says we're wrong. He does. And he is enough. You know, the truth is, if we're looking to be babied, we don't come to the provider. Jesus won't let us live in lasting infancy. Infancy, He says, let me heal your wounds. There, it's done. Now come back to the battle. That's the only place I could give you victory. And so the question becomes, am I willing to pay the price to restock my spiritual cupboard with Jesus himself. Our true need to the Lord. Be willing to repent and empty supplies from self's shelf to make room for him. Claim him as our perfect provision. Jesus is the loving provider. He wants to help us run to him when we are broken and used up causing us to come to his waiting arms when we feel abandoned and lonely. So today, let me encourage you to choose the unlimited provision of love, grace, and peace that his sacrificial death provides for each and every one of us. Well, guys, just wanted to share that quick word of encouragement to you. If it does speak to you, please share this video. I hope you have an amazing day. Remember, I love you guys, and I'm praying for you.